Berkelium is a transuranic radioactive chemical element with symbol BK and atomic number 97. It is a member of the actinide and transuranium element series. It is named after the city of Berkeley, California, the location of the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory then the University of California Radiation Laboratory where it was discovered in December 1949. Berkelium was the fifth transuranium element discovered after neptunium, plutonium, curium and americium. The major isotope of berkelium, 249 BK, is synthesized in minute quantities in dedicated high-flux nuclear reactors, mainly at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, USA, and at the Research Institute of Atomic Reactors in Dimitrovgrad, Russia. The production of the second most important isotope 247 BK involves the irradiation of the rare isotope 244 CM with high-energy alpha particles. Just over 1 gram of berkelium has been produced in the United States since 1967. There is no practical application of berkelium outside scientific research which is mostly directed at the synthesis of heavier transuranic elements and transactinides. A 22 mg batch of berkelium-249 was prepared during a 250-day irradiation period and then purified for a further 90 days at Oak Ridge in 2009. This sample was used to synthesize the new element tenosine for the first time in 2009 at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, Russia, after it was bombarded with calcium-48 ions for 150 days. This was the culmination of the Russia-US collaboration on the synthesis of the heaviest elements on the periodic table. Berkelium is a soft, silvery-white, radioactive metal. The berkelium-249 isotope emits low-energy electrons and thus is relatively safe to handle. It decays with a half-life of 330 days to californium-249, which is a strong emitter of ionizing alpha particles. This gradual transformation is an important consideration when studying the properties of elemental berkelium and its chemical compounds, since the formation of californium brings not only chemical contamination, but also free radical effects and self-heating from the emitted alpha particles. Characteristics Physical Berkelium is a soft, silvery-white, radioactive actinide metal. In the periodic table, it is located to the right of the actinide curium, to the left of the actinide californium and below the lanthanide terbium with which it shares many similarities in physical and chemical properties. Its density of 14.78 g per cc lies between those of curium .52 g per cc and californium 15.1 g per cc, as does its melting point of 986 degrees Celsius, below that of curium 1340 degrees Celsius but higher than that of californium 900 degrees Celsius. Berkelium is relatively soft and has one of the lowest bulk moduli among the actinides, at about 20 GPa 2 1010 Berkelium ions shows two sharp fluorescence peaks at 652 nm red light and 742 nm deep red, near infrared due to internal transitions at the F-electron shell. The relative intensity of these peaks depends on the excitation power and temperature of the sample. This emission can be observed, for example, after dispersing berkelium ions in a silicate glass, by melting the glass in presence of berkelium oxide or halide, between 70 K and room temperature, berkelium behaves as a Curie-Weiss paramagnetic material with an effective magnetic moment of 9.69 Bohr magnetons and a Curie temperature of 101 K. This magnetic moment is almost equal to the theoretical value of 9.72 micro B calculated within the simple atomic LS coupling model. Upon cooling to about 34 K, berkelium undergoes a transition to an antiferromagnetic state. Enthalpy of dissolution in hydrochloric acid at standard conditions is minus 600 kJ per mole, from which the standard enthalpy change of formation delta FH degree of aqueous BK3 plus ions is obtained as minus 601 kJ per mole. The standard potential BK3 plus, BK0 is minus 2.01 V. The ionization potential of a neutral berkelium atom is 6.23 electron volts. Allotropes At ambient conditions, berkelium assumes its most stable alpha form which has a hexagonal symmetry, space group P63, MMC, lattice parameters of 341 pm and 1107 pm. 
The crystal has a double hexagonal close packing structure with the layer sequence ABAC and so is isotypic having a similar structure with alpha lanthanum and alpha forms of actinides beyond curium. This crystal structure changes with pressure and temperature. When compressed at room temperature to 7 GPa, alpha berkelium transforms to the beta modification, which has a face-centered cubic FCC symmetry and space group Fm3 m. This transition occurs without change in volume, but the enthalpy increases by 3.66 kJ per mole. Upon further compression to 25 GPa, berkelium transforms to an orthorhombic gamma berkelium structure similar to that of alpha uranium. This transition is accompanied by a 12% volume decrease in delocalization of the electrons at the 5F electron shell. No further phase transitions are observed up to 57 GPa. Upon heating, alpha berkelium transforms into another phase with an FCC lattice but slightly different from beta berkelium, space group Fm3 m and the lattice constant of 500 pm. This FCC structure is equivalent to the closest packing with the sequence ABC. This phase is metastable and will gradually revert to the original alpha berkelium phase at room temperature. The temperature of the phase transition is believed to be quite close to the melting point. Chemical Like all actinides, berkelium dissolves in various aqueous inorganic acids, liberating gaseous hydrogen and converting into the berkelium state. This trivalent oxidation state plus three is the most stable, especially in aqueous solutions, but tetravalent plus four and possibly divalent plus two berkelium compounds are also known. The existence of divalent berkelium salts is uncertain and has only been reported in mixed lanthanum chloride strontium chloride melts. A similar behavior is observed for the lanthanide analog of berkelium, terbium. Aqueous solutions of BK3 plus ions are green in most acids. The color of BK4 plus ions is yellow in hydrochloric acid and orange-yellow in sulfuric acid. Berkelium does not react rapidly with oxygen at room temperature, possibly due to the formation of a protective oxide layer surface. However, it reacts with molten metals, hydrogen, halogens, calcogens and nictogens to form various binary compounds. Isotopes about 20 isotopes and 6 nuclear isomers excited states of, an isotope of berkelium have been characterized with the mass numbers ranging from 235 to 254. All of them are radioactive. The longest half-lives are observed for 247 BK 1,380 years, 248 BK over 300 years, and 249 BK 330 days. The half-lives of the other isotopes range from microseconds to several days. The isotope which is the easiest to synthesize is berkelium-249. This emits mostly soft beta particles which are inconvenient for detection. Its alpha radiation is rather weak 1.45 times 10 minus 3% with respect to the beta radiation, but is sometimes used to detect this isotope. The second important berkelium isotope, berkelium-247, is an alpha emitter, as are most actinide isotopes. Occurrence. All berkelium isotopes have a half-life far too short to be primordial. Therefore, any primordial berkelium, that is, berkelium present on the Earth during its formation, has decayed by now. On Earth, berkelium is mostly concentrated in certain areas, which were used for the atmospheric nuclear weapons tests between 1945 and 1980, as well as at the sites of nuclear incidents, such as the Chernobyl disaster, Three Mile Island accident and 1968 Thule Air Base B-52 crash. Analysis of the debris at the testing site of the first U.S. hydrogen bomb, Ivy Mike, the 1st of November 1952, Enoetic Atoll, revealed high concentrations of various actinides, including berkelium. For reasons of military secrecy, this result was published only in 1956. Nuclear reactors produce mostly, among the berkelium isotopes, berkelium 249. During the storage and before the fuel disposal, most of it beta decays to californium 249. The latter has a half-life of 351 years, which is relatively long when compared to the other isotopes produced in the reactor, and is therefore undesirable in the disposal products. The transuranic elements from americium to fermium, including berkelium, occurred naturally in the natural nuclear fission reactor at Oklo, but no longer do so.
History Although very small amounts of berkelium were possibly produced in previous nuclear experiments, it was first intentionally synthesized, isolated and identified in December 1949 by Glenn T. Seaborg, Albert Giorso, Stanley G. Thompson, and Kenneth Street, Jr. They used the 60-inch cyclotron at the University of California, Berkeley. Similar to the nearly simultaneous discovery of americium element 95 and curium element 96 in 1944, the new elements berkelium and californium element 98 were both produced in 1949-1950. The name choice for element 97 followed the previous tradition of the Californian group to draw an analogy between the newly discovered actinide and the lanthanide element positioned above it in the periodic table. Previously, americium was named after a continent as its analog europium, and curium honored scientists Marie and Pierre Curie as the lanthanide above it. Gadolinium was named after the explorer of the rare earth elements Johann Gadolin. Thus, the discovery report by the Berkeley Group reads: It is suggested that element 97 be given the name berkelium, symbol BK, after the city of Berkeley in a manner similar to that used in naming its chemical homologue terbium, atomic number 65, whose name was derived from the town of Aterby, Sweden, where the rare earth minerals were first found. This tradition ended on berkelium, though, as the naming of the next discovered actinide, californium, was not related to its lanthanide analog dysprosium, but after the discovery place, the most difficult steps in the synthesis of berkelium were its separation from the final products and the production of sufficient quantities of americium for the target material. First, americium -am nitrate solution was coated on a platinum foil, the solution was evaporated and the residue converted by annealing to americium dioxide This target was irradiated with 35 MeV alpha particles for six hours in the 60-inch cyclotron at the Lawrence Radiation Laboratory, University of California, Berkeley. The alpha -2N reaction induced by the irradiation yielded the 243 BK isotope and two free neutrons M95 241 He 2 4 BK 97 243 plus 2 0 1 n Display style C E carrot two hundred forty one underscore ninety five and plus carrot four underscore two he to carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety seven B K plus two carrot one underscore zero N After the irradiation, the coating was dissolved with nitric acid and then precipitated as the hydroxide using concentrated aqueous ammonia solution. The product was centrifugated and redissolved in nitric acid. To separate berkelium from the unreacted americium, this solution was added to a mixture of ammonium and ammonium sulfate and heated to convert all the dissolved americium into the oxidation state plus 6. Unoxidized residual americium was precipitated by the addition of hydrofluoric acid as americium fluoride AMF3. This step yielded a mixture of the accompanying product curium and the expected element 97 in form of trifluorides. The mixture was converted to the corresponding hydroxides by treating it with potassium hydroxide, and after centrifugation, was dissolved in perchloric acid. Further separation was carried out in the presence of a citric acid ammonium buffer solution in a weakly acidic medium, pH approximately equals 3.5, using ion exchange at elevated temperature. The chromatographic separation behavior was unknown for the element 97 at the time, but was anticipated by analogy with terbium. The first results were disappointing because no alpha particle emission signature could be detected from the elution product. With further analysis, searching for characteristic X-rays and conversion electron signals, a berkelium isotope was eventually detected. Its mass number was uncertain between 243 and 244 in the initial report, but was later established as 243. Synthesis and extraction Preparation of isotopes 
Berkelium is produced by bombarding lighter actinides uranium or plutonium with neutrons in a nuclear reactor. In a more common case of uranium fuel, plutonium is produced first by neutron capture the so-called N-gamma reaction or neutron fusion followed by beta decay U 92 238 N gamma U 92 239 23.5 min beta minus NP 93 239 2.3565 D beta Minus Poo ninety four two hundred thirty nine Display style C E carrot two hundred thirty eight underscore ninety two U two C E N gamma carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety two U two beta carrot twenty three point five C E min carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety three N P two beta carrot two point three five six five C E D carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety four poo the times are half-lives plutonium-239 is further irradiated by a source that has a high neutron flux, several times higher than a conventional nuclear reactor, such as the 85-megawatt high-flux isotope reactor at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, USA. The higher flux promotes fusion reactions involving not one but several neutrons, converting 239 Pu to 244 cm and then to 249 cm. Pu ninety four two hundred thirty nine four N Gamma Pu ninety four two hundred forty three four point nine five six H Beta Minus M ninety five two hundred forty three N Gamma M ninety five two hundred forty four ten one H beta minus CM ninety six thousand two hundred forty four CM ninety six thousand two hundred forty four five N gamma CM ninety six thousand two hundred forty nine display style begin aligned CE carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety four poo two CE four N gamma carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety four poo two beta carrot four point nine five six CE H carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety five M two CE N N gamma carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety five M two beta carrot ten point one C E H and C E carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety six C M and C E carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety six C M two C E five N gamma carrot two hundred forty nine underscore ninety six C M and aligned curium two hundred forty nine has a short half life of sixty four minutes, and thus its further conversion to two hundred fifty C M has a low probability probability. Instead, it transforms by beta decay into 249 BK, CM 96249 BK 3304-15 D beta minus ninety eight two hundred forty nine CF 
Display style C E carrot two hundred forty nine underscore ninety six C M two beta carrot sixty four point one five C E min underscore ninety seven carrot two hundred forty nine B K two beta carrot three hundred thirty C E D underscore ninety eight carrot two hundred forty nine C F the thus produced 249 BK has a long half-life of 330 days and thus can capture another neutron. However, the product, 250 BK, again has a relatively short half-life of 3.212 hours and thus, does not yield any heavier berkelium isotopes. Instead decays to the californium isotope 250 CF BK 97 249 N gamma BK 97 250 3 212 H beta minus CF Ninety-eight, two hundred fifty. Display style C E carrot two hundred forty nine underscore ninety seven B K two C E N gamma carrot two hundred fifty underscore ninety seven B K two beta carrot three point two one two C E H carrot two hundred fifty underscore ninety eight C F Although 247 BK is the most stable isotope of berkelium, its production in nuclear reactors is very inefficient due to the long half-life of its potential progenitor curium-247, which does not allow it sufficient time to beta decay before capturing another neutron. Thus, 249 BK is the most accessible isotope of berkelium, which still, is available only in small quantities only 0.66 grams have been produced in the U.S. over the period 1967-1983 at a high price of the order US$185 per microgram. The isotope 248 BK was first obtained in 1956 by bombarding a mixture of curium isotopes with 25 MeV alpha particles. Although its direct detection was hindered by strong signal interference with 245 BK, the existence of a new isotope was proven by the growth of the decay product 248 CF which had been previously characterized. The half-life of 248 BK was estimated as 23 plus or minus 5 hours, though later 1965 work gave a half-life in excess of 300 years which may be due to an isomeric state. Berkelium-247 was produced during the same year by irradiating 244 cm with alpha particles cm 96 244 alpha n cf 98 247 3 11 H E B K 97 247 C M 96 244 Alpha P B K Ninety seven two hundred forty seven Display style begin cases C E carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety six C M two C E alpha N carrot two hundred forty seven underscore ninety eight C F two Epsilon three point one one C E H carrot two hundred forty seven underscore ninety seven B K C E carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety six C M two C E alpha P carrot two hundred forty seven underscore ninety seven B K end cases Berkelium-242 was synthesized in 1979 by bombarding 235U with 11B, 238U with 10B, 232TH with 14N or 232TH with 15N. It converts by electron capture to 242CM with a half-life of 7.0 plus or minus 1.3 minutes. 
A search for an initially suspected isotope 241BK was then unsuccessful. 241BK has since been synthesized. U 92 235 plus B 5 11 BK 97 242 plus 4 0 1 N TH 90 232 plus N 7 14 BK 97 242 plus 4 0 1 N U 92238 plus B510 BK 97242 plus 601 NTH 90232 plus N715 BK 97242 plus 501 N display style begin cases CE carrot 235 underscore 92 U plus carrot 11 underscore 5 B to carrot 242 underscore 97 BK plus 4 carrot 1 underscore 0 n and c e carrot 232 underscore 90 th plus carrot 14 underscore 7 n to carrot 242 underscore 97 bk plus 4 carrot 1 underscore 0 n c e carrot 238 underscore 92 u plus carrot 10 underscore 5 b to carrot 242 underscore 97 bk plus 6 carrot 1 underscore 0 n and c e carrot 232 underscore 90 th plus carrot 15 underscore 7 and to carrot 242 underscore 97 bk plus 5 carrot 1 underscore 0 n end cases separation the fact that berkelium readily assumes oxidation state plus 4 in solids and is relatively stable in this state in liquids greatly assists separation of berkelium away from many other actinides these are inevitably produced in relatively large amounts during the nuclear synthesis and often favor the plus 3 state this fact was not yet known in the initial experiments, which used a more complex separation procedure. Various inorganic oxidation agents can be applied to the berkelium solutions to convert it to the plus-4 state, such as bromates bro bismuthates bio chromates cro and Cr2O2-7, silver I thiolate silver 2 sulfide O8, lead IV oxide lead 4 oxide, ozone O3, or photochemical oxidation procedures. More recently, it has been discovered that some organic and bio-inspired molecules, such as the chelator called 3,4,3-Li-1, 2-HOPO, can also oxidize BK and stabilize BK under mild conditions. Berkelium is then extracted with ion exchange, extraction chromatography or liquid-liquid extraction using HDEHP 2-ethylhexyl phosphoric skid, amines, tributyl phosphate or various other reagents. These procedures separate berkelium from most trivalent actinides and lanthanides, except for the lanthanide cerium lanthanides are absent in the irradiation target but are created in various nuclear fission decay chains. A more detailed procedure adopted at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory was as follows. The initial mixture of actinides is processed with ion exchange using lithium chloride reagent, then precipitated as hydroxides, filtered and dissolved in nitric acid. It is then treated with high-pressure elution from cation exchange resins, and the berkelium phase is oxidized and extracted using one of the procedures described above. Reduction of the thus obtained berkelium IV to the plus-3 oxidation state yields a solution, which is nearly free from other actinides but contains cerium. Berkelium and cerium are then separated with another round of ion exchange treatment. Bulk metal preparation 
In order to characterize chemical and physical properties of solid berkelium and its compounds, a program was initiated in 1952 at the Material Testing Reactor, Arco, Idaho, U.S. It resulted in preparation of an 8-gram plutonium-239 target and in the first production of macroscopic quantities .6 micrograms of berkelium by Burris B. Cunningham and Stanley G. Thompson in 1958, after a continuous reactor irradiation of this target for six years. This irradiation method was and still is the only way of producing weighable amounts of the element, and most solid-state studies of berkelium have been conducted on microgram or submicrogram-sized samples. The world's major irradiation sources are the 85 megawatt high-flux isotope reactor at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, USA, and the SM2 loop reactor at the Research Institute of Atomic Reactors (NIIAR) in Dmitrovgrad, Russia, which are both dedicated to the production of transcurium elements atomic number greater than 96. These facilities have similar power and flux levels, and are expected to have comparable production capacities for transcurium elements, although the quantities produced at NIIAR are not publicly reported. In a typical processing campaign, at Oak Ridge, tens of grams of curium are irradiated to produce decigram quantities of californium, milligram quantities of berkelium-249 and einsteinium, and picogram quantities of fermium. In total, just over 1 gram of berkelium 249 has been produced at Oak Ridge since 1967. The first berkelium metal sample weighing 1.7 micrograms was prepared in 1971 by the reduction of berkelium 3 fluoride with lithium vapor at 1000 degrees Celsius. The fluoride was suspended on a tungsten wire above a tantalum crucible containing molten lithium. Later, metal samples weighing up to 0.5 milligrams were obtained with this method. B K F three plus three L I B K plus three L I F display style mathrm bkf underscore three plus three Lee long right arrow bk plus three leaf. Similar results are obtained with berkelium IV fluoride. Berkelium metal can also be produced by the reduction of berkelium IV oxide with thorium or lanthanum. Compounds. Oxides. Two oxides of berkelium are known, with the berkelium oxidation state of plus 3 and plus 4 Berkelium oxide is a brown solid, while berkelium oxide is a yellow-green solid with a melting point of 1920 degrees Celsius and is formed from BKO2 by reduction with molecular hydrogen 2 B K O two plus H two B K two O three plus H two O Display style mathem two BKO underscore two plus H underscore two long right arrow BK underscore two O underscore three plus H underscore two O Upon heating to one thousand two hundred degrees Celsius, the oxide BK two O three undergoes a phase change, it undergoes another phase change at one thousand seven hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Such three-phase behavior is typical for the actinide sesquioxides. Berkelium oxide, BKO, has been reported as a brittle gray solid but its exact chemical composition remains uncertain. Halides In halides, berkelium assumes the oxidation states plus 3 and plus 4. 
The plus 3 state is the most stable, especially in solutions, while the tetravalent halides BKF4 and Cs2 BKCl6 are only known in the solid phase. The coordination of berkelium atom in its trivalent fluoride and chloride is tricapped trigonal prismatic, with the coordination number of 9. In trivalent bromide, it is bicapped trigonal prismatic coordination 8 or octahedral coordination 6, and in the iodide it is octahedral. Berkelium IV fluoride BKF4 is a yellow-green ionic solid and is isotypic with uranium tetrafluoride or zirconium IV fluoride. Berkelium fluoride BKF3 is also a yellow-green solid, but it has two crystalline structures. The most stable phase at low temperatures is isotypic with yttrium fluoride, while upon heating to between 350 and 600 degrees Celsius, it transforms to the structure found in lanthanum fluoride. Visible amounts of berkelium chloride BKCl3 were first isolated and characterized in 1962, and weighed only three billionths of a gram. It can be prepared by introducing hydrogen chloride vapors into an evacuated quartz tube containing berkelium oxide at a temperature about 500 degrees Celsius. This green solid has a melting point of 600 degrees Celsius, and is isotypic with uranium chloride. Upon heating to nearly melting point, BKCl3 converts into an orthorhombic phase. Two forms of berkelium bromide are known, one with berkelium having coordination 6, and one with coordination 8. The latter is less stable and transforms to the former phase upon heating to about 350 degrees Celsius. An important phenomenon for radioactive solids has been studied on these two crystal forms. The structure of fresh and aged 249 BKBr3 samples was probed by X ray diffraction over a period longer than three years, so that various fractions of berkelium 249 had beta decayed to californium 249. No change in structure was observed upon the 249 BKBr3 to 249 CFBr3 transformation. However, other differences were noted for 249 BKBr3 and 249 CFBr3. For example, the latter could be reduced with hydrogen to 249 CFBr2, but the former could not. This result was reproduced on individual 249 BKBr3 and 249 CFBr3 samples, as well on the samples containing both bromides. The intergrowth of californium in berkelium occurs at a rate of 0.22% per day and is an intrinsic obstacle in studying berkelium properties. Beside a chemical contamination, 249 CF, being an alpha emitter, brings undesirable self-damage of the crystal lattice and the resulting self-heating. The chemical effect however can be avoided by performing measurements as a function of time and extrapolating the obtained results. Other inorganic compounds the nictides of berkelium-249 of the type BKX are known for the elements nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic and antimony. They crystallize in the rock salt structure and are prepared by the reaction of either berkelium hydride BKH3 or metallic berkelium with these elements at elevated temperature about 600 degrees Celsius under high vacuum. Berkelium sulfide, BK2S3, is prepared by either treating berkelium oxide with a mixture of hydrogen sulfide and carbon disulfide vapors at 1130 degrees Celsius, or by directly reacting metallic berkelium with elemental sulfur. These procedures yield brownish-black crystals, berkelium and berkelium hydroxides are both stable in one molar solutions of sodium hydroxide. Berkelium phosphate has been prepared as a solid, which shows strong fluorescence under excitation with a green light. Berkelium hydrides are produced by reacting metal with hydrogen gas at temperatures about 250 degrees Celsius. They are non-stoichiometric with the nominal formula BKH2 plus X0. Several other salts of berkelium are known, including an oxysulfide BK2O2S, and hydrated nitrate BKNO3 3-4H2O, chloride bkcl 36 h 20 sulfate bk 2 so 4 3 h 20 and oxalate bk 2 c 20 h 20 Thermal decomposition at about 600 degrees Celsius in an argon atmosphere to avoid oxidation to BKO2 of BK2 SO4 3-1-2-H2O yields the crystals of berkelium oxysulfate BK2O2 SO4. This compound is thermally stable to at least 1000 degrees Celsius in inert atmosphere. Organoberkelium compounds 
Berkelium forms a trigonal C5H53BK metallocene complex with three cyclopentadienyl rings, which can be synthesized by reacting berkelium chloride with the molten berylocene C5H52 at about 70 degrees Celsius. It has an amber color and a density of 2.47 g per cc. The complex is stable to heating to at least 250 degrees Celsius, and sublimates without melting at about 350 degrees Celsius. The high radioactivity of berkelium gradually destroys the compound within a period of weeks. One cyclopentadienyl ring in C5H53BK can be substituted by chlorine to yield BK C5H52Cl2. The optical absorption spectra of this compound are very similar to those of C5H53BK. Applications There is currently no use for any isotope of berkelium outside basic scientific research. Berkelium-249 is a common target nuclide to prepare still heavier transuranic elements and transactinides, such as lawrencium, rutherfordium and borium. It is also useful as a source of the isotope californium-249, which is used for studies on the chemistry of californium in preference to the more radioactive californium-252 that is produced in neutron bombardment facilities such as the HFIR. A 22 mg batch of berkelium-249 was prepared in a 250-day irradiation and then purified for 90 days at Oak Ridge in 2009. This target yielded the first six atoms of tenosine at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research JINR, Dubna, Russia, after bombarding it with calcium ions in the U-400 cyclotron for 150 days. This synthesis was a culmination of the Russia-U.S. collaboration between JINR and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory on the synthesis of elements 113 to 118 which was initiated in 1989. Nuclear fuel cycle The nuclear fission properties of berkelium are different from those of the neighboring actinides curium and californium, and they suggest berkelium to perform poorly as a fuel in a nuclear reactor. Specifically, berkelium-249 has a moderately large neutron capture cross-section of 710 barns for thermal neutrons, 1200 barns resonance integral, but very low fission cross-section for thermal neutrons. In a thermal reactor, much of it will therefore be converted to berkelium-250 which quickly decays to californium-250. In principle, berkelium-249 can sustain a nuclear chain reaction in a fast breeder reactor. Its critical mass is relatively high at 192 kg, it can be reduced with a water or steel reflector but would still exceed the world production of this isotope. Berkelium-247 can maintain chain reaction both in a thermal neutron and in a fast neutron reactor, however, its production is rather complex and thus the availability is much lower than its critical mass, which is about 75.7 kg for a bare sphere, 41.2 kg with a water reflector and 35.2 kg with a steel reflector 30 centimeters thickness. Health issues Little is known about the effects of berkelium on human body, and analogies with other elements may not be drawn because of different radiation products electrons for berkelium and alpha particles, neutrons, or both for most other actinides. The low energy of electrons emitted from berkelium-249 less than 126 keV hinders its detection, due to signal interference with other decay processes, but also makes this isotope relatively harmless to humans as compared to other actinides. However, berkelium-249 transforms with a half-life of only 330 days to the strong alpha emitter californium-249, which is rather dangerous and has to be handled in a glove box in a dedicated laboratory. Most available berkelium toxicity data originate from research on animals. Upon ingestion by rats, only about 0.01% berkelium ends in the bloodstream. From there, about 65% goes to the bones, where it remains for about 50 years, 25% to the lungs biological half-life about 20 years, 0.035% to the testicles or 0.01% to the ovaries where berkelium stays indefinitely. The balance of about 10% is excreted. In all these organs berkelium might promote cancer, and in the skeletal system its radiation can damage red blood cells. 
The maximum permissible amount of berkelium-249 in the human skeleton is 0.4 nanograms. References Bibliography Greenwood, Norman N., Earnshaw, Allen Chemistry of the Elements 2nd ed. Oxford, Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 0-08-037941-9. Holman, Arnold F., Weiberg, Nils. 2007. Textbook of Inorganic Chemistry, 102nd ed. Berlin, De Gruyter. ISBN 978-3-11-017770-1. Peterson, J. R., Hobart, D. E. The Chemistry of Berkelium. In Emilius, Harry Julius. Advances in Inorganic Chemistry and Radiochemistry. 28. Academic Press. pp. 29-64. doi.10.1016, s0898883808-60204-4. ISBN 0-12-023628-1. External links Berkelium at the Periodic Table of Videos University of Nottingham